you are welcome to LFN What's Your Say? The number one listening show where we discuss real issues with real people like you. We are still featuring our Kelly, real name Robert Sylvester Kelly. Also known as the R&B King. The U.S. government fired back at R. Kelly's lawsuit over prison workers allegedly accessing his private emails and call logs, we can exclusively report. According to court documents obtained by our sources, lawyers representing the government asked that R. Kelly's 2023 lawsuit, where he maintained that prison employees used the internal prison system to assess his emails, visitor and phone logs, be dismissed and denied it breached its duty of care to R. Kelly. The government response admitted there was an Inspector General investigation into the unauthorized access of R. Kelly's sensitive information. The response said the officer R. Kelly named in his complaint was investigated but no charges were ever brought. In 2019, the Chicago Sun-Times reported the prison employee in question had thereafter retired. The government has now seemingly admitted that an investigation found out that a prison worker did provide blogger Tasha Kay with information that was accessed from the internal system. Despite the obvious government admission, its lawyer argued for the case to be dismissed. The United States is not subject to institutional liability stemming from allegedly widespread negligent practices or policies, he said. In R. Kelly's suit, His lawyer Jennifer Bonjean had said that the defendant United States of America breached its duty of care to R. Kelly when it allowed countless BOP officers to access his confidential information without any legal basis to do so. Bonjean said that the defendant, who is the United States of America knew that one of its employees and the other Bureau of Prison Workers routinely accessed R. Kelly's private information from its TrueView systems and divulged private information to third parties for monetary gain, clout or simple harassment. Because of the United States of America's breach, at least 60 Bureau of Prisons officers made unauthorized access to R. Kelly's sensitive, confidential and private information maintained by the BOP on its electronic system known as TrueView, Bonjean then affirmed. In the details of the lawsuit, R. Kelly said he believed the officers sold the information to Tasha Kay, who then posted it on her YouTube blog. Tasha Kay then denied the claims she had anything to do with illegal activity on her social media platforms. With this government's admission that it's indeed true the BOP officer illegally accessed R. Kelly's private information, we now await to hear what else Tasha Kay will have to say. We should also remember the fact that Bonjean then said that Tasha Kay had rallied her massive following to intentionally harass R. Kelly, done with the use of the stolen information and created chaos in R. Kelly's personal life. She even used the information to influence witnesses in R. Kelly's Eastern District of New York criminal prosecution. On information and belief, The stolen information was shared with and used by prosecutors from United States Attorney's Office as a tool to influence witnesses against R. Kelly, Bonjean said. Back in Butner in the rather lonely confines of his prison cell in North Carolina, it is reality that R. Kelly continues to find himself puzzled by a disturbing sense of betrayal. He has always believed that justice, though often slow to arrive would eventually prevail. For all of us his supporters now can't deny the fact that this has taken longer than we had expected, but we remain very optimistic hinging our hope on the ongoing New York appeal proceedings, as we wait for the U.S. Supreme Court review of the Chicago case. We for sure do believe that one of the dazzling things R. Kelly and his legal team did of late was to sue the government together with Tasha Kay, though we remain worryingly very skeptical about the judicial system, given the kind of initial reply by the government to his suit accusing it together with the Bureau of Prisons officers and Tasha Kay for leaking his confidential prison information. We remain confident knowing the defense team has started making its point seen. With a mixture of outrage and determination, R. Kelly through his attorney Bonjean resolved to fight back against this flagrant injustice. They nonetheless knew that taking on the might of the United States government would be an uphill battle, but they refused to be cowed into submission and did so. Now the government is busy campaigning for the case to be dismissed. It was a bold move, one that demanded answers and accountability in equal measure. For R. Kelly and his supporters, it was about more than just seeking recompense for the harm he has suffered but also about reclaiming his dignity and restoring his faith in the rule of law. It remains very unfortunate to note that officers entrusted with upholding the law had instead become complicit in its violation betraying the very principles they had sworn to uphold. But through it all, 
R. Kelly has refused to be silenced. His voice from the prison walls of Butner is ringing out loud and clear in the sanctified halls of justice. He speaks not only for himself but for all those who have been wronged by a system that had lost sight of its duty to protect and serve. As the legal battle wages on, the government which is represented by a team of seasoned attorneys has adopted a defensive stance. While acknowledging the existence of an investigation into the alleged breach of privacy within the TrueView system, they are vehemently denying any wrongdoing on the part of the authorities, and are now demanding for this bombshell case to be dismissed with no valid justification. The government's argument as depicted in its reply rests on a series of carefully crafted denials and deflections, designed to cast doubt on the authenticity of R. Kelly's claims. They seem to be pointing to procedural safeguards purportedly in place to prevent unauthorized access to inmate data, emphasizing the rigorous training protocols undergone by prison staff. The government also seems to argue that any breaches that may have occurred were isolated incidents and actions of a few bad actors, rather than indicative of systemic failures. The government's deep pockets and formidable legal machinery seems to tip the scales of justice in their favor, casting a long shadow over R. Kelly's hopes for a timely redress. We can all figure this out when we relate it to the recently concluded New York Appeal Oral Argument, a proceeding in which the appeal judges made sure they interrupted Bon Jean's submission but not Bensing's, the prosecutor who represented government. Despite the phenomenal efforts of his legal team to shield him from the worst effects of the breach, the emotional scars inflicted upon R. Kelly continued to fester casting a long shadow over his trial. The sense of injustice that permeated every aspect of his ordeal serves as a constant reminder of the profound human cost of the government officer's negligence. As the trial progresses, R. Kelly's emotional anguish will serve as a potent reminder of the need for accountability and reform within the criminal justice system. His plight underscores the devastating impact that breaches of privacy can have on individuals caught in the crosshairs of the law, serving as a call for greater vigilance and oversight to prevent similar injustices in the future. As we continue to witness new developments occurring towards R. Kelly's appeal proceedings, we can just stay optimistic that this time around, the relevant truth will be put into consideration. This is the ray of hope that makes us keep our breath at hold. We believe R. Kelly and his legal team will be able to outline all the injustices, misinterpretations of the law, cases of lying and witness tampering that have marred all R. Kelly's legal proceedings and that the law, truth and justice will this time along prevail. It has been a long wait and we can't wait any longer to see R. Kelly regain his deserved freedom. Thank you for watching today's video, a production of LFN Media, giving you another perspective of issues at hand. We make it our business to keep you updated with the truth amidst the cloud of lies the media wants you to believe. It is therefore important to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon and allow all notifications so that you don't miss out whenever we publish a new video.